we're we're going to look at tax here beginning with universal social charge and then income tax mathematically they're both quite similar with income tax having tax credits as opposed to universal social charge which is kind of cleaner so we'll begin with USC so the way that works is that you pay a certain amount so this is um, the 2014 levels so you pay 2% on your first 10,000 and 36 after that the rate goes up so you pay 4% on the next 5,980 and then you pay 7% on the balance so anything more than that so now the reason you do this is because and again this isn't really maths but um, basically yeah the reason you, you do this is that you are trying to not charge people who don't have that much money so you know if you're a millionaire the, the government you kind of go I'll I don't mind taking money from you because you know you're still gonna be able to survive you're gonna be it'll be inconvenient you, you, you know you nobody likes to pay tax but it's not going to be as um, basically painful you know it's not gonna be that you're not gonna it's not gonna be that you're now not gonna have food to eat or heating clothes to wear those kind of things you know which basically as a society you go we don't want that to be the case I mean it seems unfair to take money away from people who which will result then in, in them not having the basics and so that why you call that a progressive tax system where the more money you have the more you are charged and you'll hear that every budget you know people will complain about how fair was that tax that wasn't progressive you know that if you have a tax cut at the highest level you kind of go so then the well off benefit from this while the rest don't so then you say that's not progressive now mathematically the question to be asked is if you make a certain amount of money so you, you think of an example so say you're going somebody has somebody makes 50,000 euro how much does he or she pay well you'd go what is 2% of 10,036 so 2% of 10,036 is equal to and I just put that into my calculator and you get that's 200 euro and 72 cents so then 50,000 is a good bit away from 10,000 so you'll have to pay 4% of 5,980 so if you just made 15,000 a year then you wouldn't need 4% of 5,980 you'd be 
um, 4,000 and whatever just to bring yourself up to 15,000. So in, th in this example, yeah, we, we just need 4% of 5,980. So putting that into my calculator, I get 239 euro 20 cent. So then I need to figure out how, what is the balance? I mean, how much um, do I pay 7% on? So for that, I take away 10,036 from 50,000 and I, then I, or I'll write that down. So I began with 50,000, I, I take away 10,036. So that means I have 39,964. I'm now paying for, I pay 4% on the next 5,980. So I t take away 5,980 from that to get 33,984. So I pay 7% on that. So 7% of 33,984 is equal to 2,378 and 88 cents. So my entire universal social charge cost is going to be this plus these two. So I just add those up to get the so total is equal to 2018 euro and 80 cent. So just a quick recap, if I had 50,000 euro, I pay only 2% on the first 10,036. So that gives me a bill of 200 and, or 200 euro and 72 cent. Then I pay 4% on the next 5,980. So that adds an extra 239 euro to my universal social charge bill and then I pay 7% on the rest. So that comes at 2,378. So add those all up and I need to send a check or whatever. I think the government doesn't take checks anymore in fact, um, but I need to pay that amount to revenue. So now, now we come to income tax, which is pretty similar. For income tax, we have only two bands. So you pay 20% uh, on first Thirty-two thousand eight hundred euro, and then you pay forty-one percent on the balance, or is there anything ex anything more that you make? So, if you were paying fifty, uh, if you were making fifty thousand, then you'd pay so zero point two times. 32,800 which comes to 6,560 and then you'd pay 41% on the rest so that would be 17,200 and that comes to 7,052 so your total 
tax would equal 13,612. So now the extra thing that you have with income tax is that you're, you are assigned tax credits. So that depends on whether, I mean, a couple of factors, so depending on whether you're single, uh, whether you're married, whether you have kids. So it, it, it varies from person to person. So if this person is single and unmarried, it would, they'd have 1,650 tax credits. So what that means is you subtract that away from your total, what, I, what we have here is as total tax. So you take away 1650 from 1312. So I just take away my 1650. So your tax bill to revenue would be 11962. Mathematically, you know, the type of question that you'd be asked is um, you'd be given what the bands are and what your tax credits are, then work out what the tax payable is. So just doing this kind of calculation.